Jim, a solutions and network specialist with Braden Business Systems. Today we're going to create and set up a Gmail account to be used with a Konica Minolta multifunctional printer. This will allow you to be able to scan to yourself by email. A couple of things to keep in mind are, one, a free Gmail account is free, meaning you get what you pay for. Be aware that Google puts no priority in servicing free Gmail accounts if something goes wrong with the account. Two, you must keep tabs of this account. Check the account often to make sure that you do not get any emails from Gmail notifying you of any security updates or concerns. Not responding to these emails may cause the account to be shut down. Three, using the account will allow you to go back and check the sent folder so you have proof that the machine is indeed sending the emails that you have a date and time that the scan was completed and where it went. Section one, let's begin. Go to gmail.com and create a new account that you will want the machine to use. For example, you can call the account abccompany.scans at gmail.com. Whatever you want to use is entirely up to you. Alternatively, you can use an existing Gmail account. After creating the account or selecting the account you want to use, you will need to set up two-step verification and create an app password. Follow these steps. While logged into the Gmail account you created, click your icon in the upper right-hand side of the page and select Manage Your Gmail Account. This will bring you to the account homepage. Next, you will click on Security on the left side. Scroll down a little until you see the How You Sign In to Google section. Click the two-step verification and use any authentication required and turn on two-step verification. Attention, this section may not be necessary depending on your account. Here, you will use your cell phone to set up the two-step. Enter your cell phone number and select text message and then click next. A code will be sent to your phone. Enter that code in the enter the code area on the web page and then click next. Then click done. A screen will open that says your account is protected with two-step verification. Go back to the home screen by clicking the back arrow. Now click in the search bar at the top of the page and type app passwords. Select the link for app password. You may be asked to authenticate. At the app passwords screen, you will see app name. Call the app name scanner, then click create. A window will pop up displaying your new app password for your copier. You can either write this number down or copy and paste it to a notepad, which is recommended. This password will show as four sets of four digits with spaces. These spaces are to make the password easier to read and are not actually spaces at all for the password. For example, if the password shows as T-D-I-G-O-Y-H-S-I-A-N-T-D-V-N-Y, it will actually be without the spaces. After copying the password, click Done. Click the back arrow and close the security tab. Be sure to check the inbox of the Gmail account and look for alerts from Google. You will need to acknowledge the emails that are asking you to verify, or your account may not work. Section two, now is the time to enter the information into the copier. Before you can change the email information on the machine, you'll need to know that copier's IP address. On most newer models, this can be obtained from the machine by pressing the following buttons. Home, utility, device information. Some machines it may be menu, utility, device information. And the IP address should be displayed. Write it down. It will look something like this, 10.250.56.125. Go to your workstation and open a web browser such as Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Note, Microsoft Internet Explorer and Edge might work, but have been known to cause some issues displaying the necessary information correctly. In the address bar, type the IP address you retrieved from the copier and press enter. The copier's web interface will open. You'll need to log out of the public account and log in with the administrator account. You will need to enter the admin password for the machine. If you do not know the machine's administrator password, please reach out to Braden Support. Enter the password and then click login. 
In the admin screen, click on the System Settings tab on the left side of the machine's web interface. Click Machine Settings. Under Administrator Registration in the email address box, enter the same Gmail address that you are using in the email addresses as well as the input machine address. Both email addresses must match. Click OK. Click the back arrow at the system settings at the top left of the page. Back in the administrator screen, you will see a tab or link for network. Click on network. Select email setting, then select email TX or SMTP in the email TX SMTP settings area. You'll want to enter the following information in the correct slots. SMTP server address. Check the box next to please check to enter hostname and in the slot enter smtp.gmail.com. Use SSL slash TLS. Click the drop down and select start TLS. Port number, type in 587. Device mail address, the address should already be populated. If not, you will type in the Gmail email address you created for the machine. Under authentication setting, you'll want to check the box next to SMTP authentication. In the user ID slot, you will want to enter that same email address that you created for the machine. Check the box next to password is changed. On some models, this is not there. Either type in or paste from the notepad the app password that you created earlier into the password box. Click OK. Click Logout in the upper right side of the screen. Section 3. Adding addresses to the address book. Log in as public user by making sure that the public user is selected and then click Login. Click Store Address on the left hand side of the web page. Click the New Registration button. At the top, the drop-down selector should now show email in the name box. Enter a name for the button that will be on the copier. This is the destination name. Click the box next to main. Where you see the ABC drop-down, you can alphabetize the buttons. Select how you want the destination organized. In the email address box, you will put the destination email address. Click OK. You can now register more email destinations by clicking Continue Registration or Finish by clicking Return. You can now close the tab in your browser. You will now be able to scan your documents to your email from your device. That's it. If you have any other issues or further questions, you can reach out to Braden Business Systems Support. Thank you.